Hi, brothers and sisters. Um, we're here to discuss it. And you're going to say, well, what do you mean, it? Well, it is in the Bible. And before we begin, we'll read this one verse. Psalm 2.2. 2. The kings of the earth rise up and the rulers take counsel or they band together or they weave together against the Lord and against her anointed, not his. So where does it actually appear in the Bible? Well, let's read Daniel 8.10, and I'm going to call um, this video possibly Its Teeth Are Gone. That's possibly what I'm going to call it. Or It Babylon Only Has Gums Now. So, who has the teeth? Well, I'll let you put... Uh, the bulk of these passages together, and I have a reason for speaking on this topic. Um, I believe somebody was trying really hard um, while I slept to cast some kind of spell against me. Now, I have no proof. But in the dream, I was this gray fluffy cat, I believe, was supposed to be symbology of me. And, uh, and it had, I believe vivid blue eyes and it was a it was a partially grown kitten cat and it was in a circle and this it was standing outside the circle and I believe it was somehow trying to draw me into that cat symbology now what I did in the dream I got instructed by God because that's the only way we're gonna understand what's going on in the spirit realm in the spirit world and so I was instructed to break the circle, which I did with my tail. I broke that circle that had been drawn there in the sand. And we were on a round island. And in the midst of that island was a pool of water. It was a huge body of water. So everything in it was very circular. And it had, I believe, large white birch trees on this island. And what the Lord told me to do was to enlarge myself as this large cat and to grab the it in a dress and to drag it into the water and to sever its head from its body, to which I did. That's what I did in this dream. And so... Uh, it caused me to be able to put together quite a bit of things in the scriptures. I had anyway, and I had spoken on it briefly. Uh, but this really opened my eyes to a good many things. Um, so Daniel 8.10, And it waxed great even to the host of heaven, and it cast down some of the host and of the stars to the ground and stamped upon them. Yea, it magnified itself to be equal to the commander of the host. Now we've identified the commander of the host as a daughter of Zion. And by it the daily sacrifice was taken away. And the place of her, that would be the commander, the daughter of Zion, Jerusalem or Israel's sanctuary was cast down. Now we've identified her particular sanctuary as the house and the force of Lebanon, which would have been in the north, okay? And she also, there's this understanding, she hides herself in her, her face in darkness. So when you think of the north, it's, it, it's a dark place. It can be in darkness. So I believe that she's actually talking in this manner that's going to lead us further in our understanding. So, and a host will be given over to it, together with the regular daily sacrifice, which is also stated as burnt offerings, by reason of transgression, and it will fling truth to the ground and perform its will and prosper. And indeed it has. All we got to do is look around at it. So this clown in a dress, like I said in this dream, I was instructed to grab it with my teeth and to drag it into this body of water and to sever its head from its neck or from its body. So we're shown in the scripture who has the teeth, Isaiah 41, 14, 
Do not fear, O worm of, it's got Jacob, I'm going to say Israel. O few women, not men, of Israel, I will help you, declares the Lord. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee into a new threshing instrument having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small and shall make the hills as chaff. Now, I could read an entire chapter and go into great detail about all of that. But since we're going to be limited to 15 minutes, that's fine. We'll just talk about it. So, what other verses might we link to this passage? So, uh, Isaiah 57 verse 3, But draw near hither, ye sons of the sorceress. We'll take a look at that word. The seed of the adulterer and the whore, the harlot Babylon. The it. Uh, Isaiah 57 4, Whom do you ridicule? Against who? Do ye make a wide mouth and stick out the tongue? Are you not children of transgression, offspring, or seed of falsehood? So what did you picture in that description? This is what I picture in the description. Let's see. You see that? What is that? Is that the clown mouth of the it? That's what it sounds like. But the it here in Daniel doesn't have the teeth. Not anymore. It's Israel that's been promised to have the teeth of a threshing instrument. Isn't she? Isaiah, verse 15. So, does that mean Babylon only has gums now? <laughs> or maybe no head anymore. Yeah. So, what's the word for sorceress? 6049? It means an enchanter, observer of time, a soothsayer, a sorcerer, a primitive root, which means to cover. Used only as a denominative, to cloud over, figuratively, to act covertly. They have taken counsel against my hidden ones. You get that in Psalm 83, and we identified who the hidden ones are. Um, it means to practice magic. Um, so where do we find, uh, this covering? Alright, so if we go to Isaiah 25, verse 7. What does it say? It says this, if I can get there. Okay, so Isaiah 25, verse 7. Today, maybe, maybe not. Okay, 25, next chapter here. So 25, verse 7. And she, not he, will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all the nations. So one would think we were in a gigantic brainwashing experiment or an MK mind control experiment. It's a global thing according to this that's been weaved through witchery, witchcraft, that's right. And um, that clown in a dress, I was instructed, like I said, to grab around the neck after I had been enlarged. So there's also another passage here, uh, Isaiah 60, 1 to 3. We'll also get another description of covering. So, one, two, three. Arise, shine, for thy light. Whose light? Israel's light. That's the daughter. Is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and her glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. So, you see what's going on there. But when we get the seed of the sorceress, um, of the adulterer and the whore, the children, uh, uh, it's going to lead you also to Nahum 3, 4. is another passage you might want to go to. But if we go to Micah, 
and this is one that I do have pulled up, five, it speaks of the remnant of Israel. Who are these remnant daughters of Israel, Zion, not Jacob? Um, the birthright always belonged to the divine feminine who was cast down uh, instead of exalting the key of David. Man chose to exalt himself through a harlot spirit and play God. And so again, that was why I was instructed to grab that clown in a dress uh, that was trying to take me, I believe, in some kind of a spell. It failed miserably. Uh, as it was indicated in Micah 5 that it would. So the remnant of Israel shall be in the midst of many people as they do, as a doctrine from the Lord. As the showers upon the grass, it tarrieth not for man, nor waiteth for the sons of men, because it is not on man to appoint her. It's on the spirit whose image she is reflecting. So she's cut out without hands. And the remnant of Israel shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lioness among the beasts of the forest as a young lioness among the flock of sheep who if she go through both treadeth down and teareth in pieces and none can deliver well i didn't exactly tear in pieces but i did what had to be done thine hand shall be lifted up upon thine adversaries and all thine enemies shall be cut off so you see what you can really find out when we go in and determine to piece together what the scriptures is telling us, what the powers of darkness is up to, and thinking they're so clever, and claiming that they don't know what the Bible says, when, baby, they've got a lot of it pieced together, wow. But they piece it and use it to their benefit to create rituals that will empower them further. Well, they tried. They tried. Just didn't really come to pass. And it won't, because it says truth staggered in the streets and equity could not enter in. Not this time. Truth is going to stand firm, and she's going to win this time. And they can throw all the foolishness at her that they want, like a clown in a dress. <laughs> like the it, all that they want to. It's not going to work. It is not going to work. It is not going to prevail. She's the one that's given the sharp teeth of a threshing instrument to thresh the nations, uh, to make those mountains into chaff, and to level the playing field before she brings forth her capstone, which smashes the toes on that false image of a king, and then grows into a mountain herself, which was always the promise to daughter Zion from Mother Wisdom from God above. Okay, so thanks for watching. I pray the Lord blesses you with an abundance of truth, and I hope you all have a really nice day. Thanks.